say someone's eating one meal a day. So OMAD's a very popular style of time-restricted feeding um, or intermittent fasting. And say they resistance train uh, in the morning and they don't eat until the night. Is this very problematic? No, I don't think so. Uh, I, I think, you know, when you go back and look at the data that, um, you know, we generated a lot of years ago now um, around the impact of resistance exercise. So, I mean, resistance exercise is by its very nature, it's a fundamentally anabolic activity. So uh, when you do that, it also tightens up that, if you like, the, so the amino acids from protein degradation get really effectively reused. Um, and that your meal is then temporally dissociated from the resistance exercise bout, as you mentioned, I, I don't think that's a problem. I, I, like I, 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 you know, a lot of people, um, I hate to say young guys, but a lot of young guys <laughs> in gyms walk around with a protein shaker, uh, and sip the protein. And it's sort of like as if the amino acids, if they're not there within the, you know, the few seconds later, the, 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 there'll be a milligram of muscle, you know, not made. And, and that's not the case. Um, you know, that uh, anabolic window that people talk about, it, it's open, if, if you want to open the window, it's open for a long time, probably for at least 24, if not up to 48 hours, depending on probably the intensity and the volume of the work that you do. But um, what exercise does is makes your muscle anabolically sensitive. So it's sort of the, the flip of the anabolically resistant state that you talked about. Uh, and it does that for, uh, for some time. It probably, the window maybe gets a little shorter as you get older, but uh, I still think you're, you're reaping the benefit of the, I mean, if one meal a day is your thing um, and you know, you exercise once a day, uh, I'd be like, that, that's, that's a good way to live. So if it just fits in within the, I mean, I, I'm just saying 24 hour because that's a day, but if it sure. fits within the, a day, then it's yeah. fine. Yeah. I mean, it's probably not, I mean, if your goal is, is, uh, you know, big muscle gain, that's probably not the optimal way to do things. I mean, and we're pretty certain, uh, you know, through empirical experimentation with athletes and everything, if you want to get uh, people to put on muscle mass, then you just get, they eat a lot of food. <laughs> And you, and you put them in an energy surplus, they, they gain fat as well, but they, they lay down muscle pretty quickly. Um, the, the tighter you make it back towards energy requirement and then pushing them into an energy deficit, uh, you begin to diminish, I think, the, the processes around gaining muscle. But uh, if your goal is stay fit, stay strong, um, and also metabolically, this one meal a day, if that's your, the way you do things uh, and you, you can handle it, then uh, I'd, I'd have no issues with that. I hmm. think that's, uh, that'd be fine in my books. That's great to hear because I'm sure that'll make a lot of people happy. They're probably like centering their eating window around when they train or moving their training to fit with their eating window because they think that they need to eat as soon as they because if you go into a workout fasted, it is like you're like, okay, I'm going in a fasted state and then I'm fasting afterwards. And that can probably mentally, just because we have these preconceptions about post-workout protein intake. Yep. Um, but no, that's, that's great to hear. 